Hi, and welcome back to the Rubber Room for another edition of Watch It Wednesday. My name's Chris Colley, and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'm going to share with you how to use one of the new triple layer punches that Stampin' Up! has available in its new summer mini catalog. There are two punches. One is a doily, and this one I'm going to share with you today is a flower punch. It's called Triple Blossom Bouquet. And what it's going to do is punch out these different shapes. You're going to actually be able to get three, four different shapes from the one punch. And I'm going to share with you now how it works. This is what your punch looks like and you can see it does have a picture that is has some silver around it there I think I got it so you can see it does have some silver around it and that'll give you a depiction of all of the different shapes that it will punch and on the end of your punch you do have a solid flower shape an outline flower shape and then an inside to your flower. This outline flower shape will give you the outline plus you'll get that little piece in the middle. So this punch will actually give you four different shapes that you'll be able to use. It has a lever here and that lever moves to all three of these different spots. When your punch is locked or, to, or you want to unlock it, this lever has to be in your far right position on your punch. So that's where you want it to lock or unlock your punch. So I'm just going to turn it over, push my little open button, and that is going to unlock my punch so that I'll now be able to use it. And what you're going to do is you're going to line your paper up with the image on the front. And I'm just going to be using some scrap pieces of paper today, but you can see where my image is and where my paper is so that they are lined up together. And I will start, just because my little lever is here, with my lever all the way to the right, which is going to give me that, that nice flower shape there with all the petals punched out. And then all I'm going to do is to punch it. And you really want to be in a standing position to punch this and place your punch flat down on the table. Let's see if I can get you in there. So it's going to be flat down on the table and then I'm just going to punch it down. And you'll hear three clicks when your punch is in this position. There's one, two, three. The third one went kind of quick there, but you'll hear all three of them. And I've got my little outline here and then the center of my punch, which is going to be the middle part of my flower. And then it will also punch out these little sort of teardrop shaped pieces from the middle there. Now to get the other piece of your outline, you're simply going to move this little tab so that your pointer is pointing directly on your middle flower there and that's the shape that you want. You don't want to get it in either in the middle there you'll hear a click when you got it in the right spot. It'll sort of lock in there. And again what you're going to do is just center your your piece of scrap paper so that you're going to get a full image there. And we're going to set it down on the table again. And this time you're only going to hear two clicks with it. So you have one and two. And that's going to give us these two shapes. You're going to have the outline of your flower and then you'll have a smaller flower piece. And that piece there is actually the piece that I used to layer under my other flower with the petals on it. And then with your first punch, what you're going to do is again move your little guide until you hear it click into place. And we'll go back and use this. And again, center your piece of cardstock so that you can see your whole image on your piece of cardstock. And lay your punch down and then just punch it. And it will punch very lightly for your one click. Oops, and I punched too lightly. So let's see if we get it back in there. There we go. 
and that is going to give you this outline flower shape. And you can, when you have this little outline, you can layer the other piece that you've punched right on top of that. And then you can put your little flower layer on top of it if you wanted to, your petal layer on top of it. Or you can do this piece, your solid piece, with the next smaller piece and then put your flower layer on top of that. So you have a lot of different combinations and things that you can do with this punch. And again, I'll show you the card that I did with it, where I layered the two pieces on to one another like that. So there you have it. Again, that is our triple layer punch, and it is available in the Summer Mini Catalog. Thanks for visiting the Rubber Room, and I hope you'll be back again soon for some more stamping tips. Keep on stamping! Bye!